We first found out about the shelter when we were staying in our car. And a couple of police officers came and tapped on our window and told us that we couldn't stay at the park, but that there was a shelter down the road. In North Wilkesboro, North Carolina, the Catherine H. Barber Memorial Shelter has been a refuge for those in need for decades. They really worked with this because I was pregnant and I had had him while we were there and he was two weeks old when we lived. They were incredibly helpful. When the shelter had to move after 30 years when their landlord changed, the local philanthropist gave it a new property, his former office, but the town thwarted that plan by denying the shelter a permit to open even though it was allowed under the law. We were utterly shocked when the Board of Adjustments of North Wilkesboro denied us for our conditional use permit because we knew that we met every criteria. Hey, Diana. Hey. Come on in. Oh my gosh. I'll show you around. With help from the Institute for Justice, the shelter fought back in federal court and won. And now, after that legal battle and a big renovation. This is incredible. The shelter has opened in its new building standing as a testament to determination, principle, and compassion. The town decided the shelter's clients wouldn't be, as they put it, harmonious. But the Constitution protects property rights, including the right to use your property to help those in desperate need. We took the case to ensure that the shelter would open and to set precedent to protect property owners everywhere from zoning abuse. After years of hard work with litigation and renovation, today is the day that the Catherine H. Barber Memorial Shelter gets to open. The Catherine H. Barber Memorial Shelter is a temporary overnight shelter that offers shelter, food, clothing, and other resources to homeless people in our community. Elizabeth Huffman has worked to ensure the shelter can transition people as quickly as possible to more long-term arrangements. But our main thing is shelter first. We have to actually solve that basic need of shelter. But the shelter itself became unexpectedly homeless. When it lost its longtime lease, it needed to move, but where? We were served an eviction, and we had 30 days to get out of our current shelter. Dr. Christopher Roberts, a local dentist, had left the building he had his practice in and he heard about the shelter's need for a new location. We're at the former home of my dental practice, uh, and now is the uh, Catherine Barber Memorial Homeless Shelter. All right, guys, come in. <laughs> See what you've donated to us. Oh my God. I was contacted by a local dentist, Dr. Christopher Roberts, and he said, I have my old dental office. If it's something the shelter could use, I'd love for you to come look at it, and if you can use it, I'd like to donate it to be used as the Catherine H. Barber Memorial Shelter. A nice big walk. Oh yeah, yeah. And for us, it was great because we had a building that wasn't any value to us at that point. To give it uh, is something that we, we would do because of our Christian faith. You know, we want to serve our community and serve others, which is what we're called to do, and so that's always a, a, a wonderful feeling. The property met all legal criteria to be a homeless shelter in North Wilkesboro. Dr. Roberts' gift was like a miracle to the shelter, but the town intervened, refusing to let the shelter open, even though no law forbade it. We tackled each of the town's bogus justifications. For example, the law required the shelter to have a sidewalk, but the town said the sidewalk was a problem because the shelter's clients would walk next to the road. The federal court agreed that this kind of tortured reasoning violated the Constitution. While homeless individuals face many challenges, attaining equal protection of the law under the Constitution ought not be one of them. The court held that North Wilkesboro treated homeless shelters much worse than any other property use, and that violated the 14th Amendment. They helped us a lot. They provided us food and they gave us a drug-free place to stay. With that legal victory, the shelter transformed the old dental office into a haven for those in need. Without the barber shelter, I probably would have still been living in the car and so it would have been really hard. The barber shelter feels like home, but it really does. They were so nice to us. It's been really great. The Catherine H. Barber Memorial Shelter found a permanent home. The Institute for Justice defended the shelter's rights to use its property to help others. The court's decision doesn't just help the shelter. Because the Constitution protects all of us, 
we're able to use the decision across the country to stand up for others whose property rights are threatened by the government.